How's it going guys? We are here very early morning. Apologise for the uh, darkness I am filming in my car with just the light on because it is really dark outside. That's the problem we try to film now I suppose in winter. So welcome to next episode. Lean Mass in the series guys. Uh, this is going to be a fun episode. I have working a bit. Just stopping outside here. So I'm going to pick up a few bits guys, let's get into the episode. I'll get the glory, we'll win the fight. Just finished work now and I'm heading to the gym. It's about five minutes away from work so it's not too bad. It is going to be an upper body day guys and um, looking forward to it, really I'm pumped. I have my calorie free monster and I have a pop tart. For my pre-workout meal it is a frosted apple blast never had this flavor before usually only get the chocolate but i thought i'd give it a go only problem with here in the uk with uh, pop tarts we we are very limited on the different flavors nothing like the states where you get bloody every flavor imaginable is ridiculous uh, but that's what i'm going to find wow. especially on the days when i've been at work a pop tart is the easiest go-to meal uh, pre-workout meal sorry that I can have because I can just get it in me on the way to the gym easy simple and it doesn't lie too heavy on my stomach and doesn't really uh, affect me when I'm lifting when I eat so close to training so that's what I'm going to have calorie free monster for a bit of energy and caffeine in me pre-workout because um, I don't really have any pre-workouts at the minute I have my my protein one but it really is too sweet for me I'm not liking it I'd rather have a monster or a cup of black coffee which works just as fine I've said it before I don't pay full price for free workouts I don't think you need to if you get them on offer brilliant if you don't get a coffee energy drink whatever whatever you use is fine that's just my opinion so yeah it's gonna be upper body day uh, my legs are still killing me from yesterday's uh, lower body day Dom's is really setting in now and it is funny walking around work for like this is not good so hopefully get some footage in the gym for you and make these uh sorry guys can you hear me? make these lean mass episodes a little bit more interesting um the last week's one was a little bit short and again i do apologize for that the way it was it was rushed and work has been manic lately and yeah i've got some exciting things coming up guys um can't really say yet but hopefully some good things coming so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on i'm going to finish this energy drink off and i will catch you in the gym how's it going guys so we are here in the gym again and what we're doing strength training program you know how it is you know what i've said i've uh, been doing a linear program for a while now and well six weeks to be exact and now i've finally moved on to my first official strength training program so this is it first official strength training program and this is day two upper body workout so it's starting off with bench so after i did a couple of warm-up sets this is my first working set 52.5 kg 115 pounds uh, that was the first working set of four and moved up to 82.5 kg which is 181 pounds and now the rep ranges for these weights were 10 10 8 6 and now what you'll find, see in a minute is i have been working on my foot placement at the last couple of weeks really uh, trying to get really where it's comfortable for me and gives me the, the best support while um while benching so <laughs> you'll see in a minute it didn't exactly go to plan on my last uh, couple of reps of my final set my foot actually slipped out of position and i tried to carry on but my hip just didn't feel right didn't feel comfortable so i just had to put the weight down on the fifth rep so if anyone sees oh you don't you did six reps no i had to do five and that one but i'll still count it still count it as normal so that is that so i'm going to critique myself as i usually do uh, the only thing i really think i would change on this is I do look at my elbows on some of the reps and I didn't really mean to it just seemed, seemed to happen so I'll try and make sure I'm more aware when I'm benching and try not to do that because you don't want to be looking at your uh, elbows it just cause problems when I'm lifting heavier 
tests and don't want that tendonitis or any issues like that, especially this close to just starting a full strength training program. So, so the rest of this workout guys, it calls for after the chest movement, which is the push movement, it calls for a back horizontal pull, a vertical pull and a shoulder movement. Now I chose, as you can see here, barbell um, rows. I like barbell rows, so I decided to do it, keep with that. For the shoulder movement, I chose overhead press. Overhead press, obviously, I've been talking about for a while now, is a movement that not only me, but other YouTubers, you know, everyone wants to improve their overhead press and really lift them heavy weights. It's only really Matt August that you really see being able to lift heavy ass weights on the overhead press, so that is something I'm gonna work on. And just for the vertical uh, pull movement, I just did lap pull downs. At this point in the workout, I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to do pull-ups and I'll just it'll hurt myself or cause injury or something, it's not worth it. So lap pull downs for the vertical pull and then that is basically the structure of the workout over. You can do two additional exercises which I did choose to do and as I'm doing more of a hypertrophy style training so I want to keep that bodybuilder physique if you could say so. So I chose some dumbbell flies on the incline, I want to build up the pecs a little bit more, well a lot more and I also did some face pulls to work on the rear delt because that's what another movement I am really trying to work on. Overall I think the workout went well, um, it's early days and it is helping me keep motivated, I mean starting a new program it does kick the motivation into gear, you want to really uh, start it off well and put everything into it, it's uh, in the upcoming weeks which will really be the challenge to see if I can stick to it as much as I would like, it is quite an intense workout program and when you do work full time and do YouTube videos and edit and all that, it can be difficult but I am motivated. It is keeping me on track and keeping the content coming for you guys so hopefully you enjoy the video and I will let it play out and catch you in the next clip. Bye guys. Post workout meal got some thick cut bread, 100 grams of deli meat chicken with some reduced fat. No, extra, extra light mayonnaise on there, a little bit of salt. It is now four o'clock in the afternoon and I've not eaten that much today. I've had a sandwich for my breakfast, my post-workout shake and pre-workout my Pop-Tart. So this sandwich and then it'll probably be a little bigger meal later on. I'm not too hungry right now so that's why I'm not having a big meal. So I still have a lot of calories to eat later on so I'm going to start editing this video for you now so it's up for you in time. So I'm filming this today, which is yesterday, oh. if you're watching this right now. I always find myself, when I've started editing a video, I just lose track of time constantly. Just Time just goes, and it is now pretty late. It's probably nearly 8 o'clock at night, and I still haven't need to eat most of my calories. But luckily for me, I've got a lot of food in. I'm going to make something that will be awesome. Not, I don't think I've shown you guys before what it is and it does work best with shredded chicken and I haven't got shredded chicken at all yesterday. That's a problem but I'll fix that myself. So what I'm going to do is turn the pan on. Locale spray. What I'm going to do is throw in some of these flame grilled chicken strips. Just going to do 100 grams. So about a third of the bag. Then I have some reduced fat stag chili. So I am going to cook this up and add the chicken to that. That's why it works best with shredded chicken instead of these. Because the shredded chicken will get all loose and gets in it. Because it's a lot better with shredded chicken. So, But I don't have that. So that. I've got the uh, chicken strips instead. So I'll have to use them. Got some 30% reduced fat mature cheddar cheese to top on top of it all when it's done in the oven. Whoa, getting steamed up. So, in the oven, I have some potato, which is seasoned with some paprika and some paprika sauce. So, that's all cooking up there. Sorry, guys. dog just barging in so that's what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the whole container of potatoes get my carbs right back up 
Shut the dog out a minute. That should be more or less my carbs. I've got my chicken, which I'm going to have 100 grams, like I said. Full tin of the chili, and then top it with some cheese. And I've got a whole bag of whole bag of vegetables. Stick it in the microwave, and that's what I'm going to have with that. So this is how it is. I've got the potatoes here, quite a massive bag. I'm going to put this bag of vegetables on top of that, then put the chicken on top of that, and then the chilli on top of that, and then sprinkle it with the little bit of cheese. So hopefully this will go to plan and we'll see, hopefully. All this food. And I've still got to add that and that. I may have overdone it. So, as you can see, I don't even know if I'm going to, as you can see guys, I don't even know if I can, I'm going to eat this. This is fucking hell. That is a lot of food. But, I'll give it a go. So, recap guys, I've got 500 grams of potatoes with a paprika uh, seasoning on them. I've got 100 grams of grilled chicken. Now, this recipe does work better with shredded chicken, but I ate it all yesterday. Full tin of chilli, reduced fat, but it's the hotter one than I expected. So it might be a little bit spicy for me. Full bag of veg, which is three servings, because I haven't had any vegetables today. And top it off with two servings of 30% reduced fat cheese at half eight at night. Oh. 100 subscribers, guys. I am over the moon. I did not expect to have hit that today. I was just finishing up my tea, finishing editing the, the what I've got filmed of this video you're watching right now. Refresh, 101 subscribers. And it feels great. I over the moon, so happy. It has made my day. As you may know or may not know, I've been working on that now to try and get 100 subscribers before Christmas and I've smashed it with what, five weeks before Christmas I've had 100 subscribers. Uh, over the moon guys, so happy and I thank, want to thank every single one of you that subscribed. Appreciate it, so yeah, really good, over the moon, can't believe it. I mean it's only 100 subscribers but it's the, it's the small things, it's the small achievements that just make everything so worthwhile and that's what that was i set myself that target and i've hit it a couple of months are going to be so enjoyable christmas and then next year i think it's going to be amazing next year is going to be so good i mean i'm saying i mean a lot but yeah body power other things in the pipeline it's just exciting times so again guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and the support not had any negative trolls yet so that's the perks of having a small channel you don't really get that and it's just a nice community the uh fitness community is just very tight-knit and it's very supportive it makes doing these videos worthwhile putting yourself out there i've mentioned it before but yeah It is awesome. So guys, I have ended up on 2,960 calories, 361 grams of carbs, 77 grams of fat, and 196 grams of protein. That is all my food in there for the day. As you can see, So that is what I've ended up on guys, I have just had a Rice Krispie Square and one serving of chocolate mint whey protein, it's finished me for the day guys, like I just said, all my calories and it's been an eventful day, I'm pretty tired, uh, I've got a lot done, this video, just this last little bit to edit that I'm filming right now and then I will get it rendered and edited up ready for tomorrow so it has been fun eventful day probably one of my better episodes because of the subscriber count being hit so again thanks for that but i think i'm going to end it there guys 
uh, look out in the next couple of weeks for some hopefully good content for you some good news and uh, some just some stuff to help grow the channel and um, give back a little bit to you try and help you guys out a little bit more so yeah that is it guys if you are watching this video and you haven't already subscribed please click subscribe let's aim for the next target now let's push it as much as I can and if you've enjoyed the video leave a comment below always welcome I like your that's the whole point of this series guys it's I do encourage you to interact and ask questions I don't mind that at all that's that's what I like to do that's what it's all about that's why you allow comments on your videos so got anything you want to ask fire away and yeah guys like it help people find it it does help a lot liking it um, will bump it up on the YouTube search so and the rankings so yeah that is it guys I will see you next week and again thanks bye for now I can see the pain.